Hello and welcome to Setius Reviews. This here is a Wi-Fi smart socket. Very basic box. Like, yeah, very basic. <laughs> right, let's take it out and let's see what else there is. Manual probably, something like this. I recently reviewed um, another thing by this company, which was the uh, wireless switch. So it's the same app, I believe. Uh, you can turn it on and off manually, as you can see, power on and off. Um, I'm pretty sure I already have the app, so I can uh, show you. So let's uh, plug it in first. I cut the socket in here, so let's plug this in. Hopefully nothing's going to blow up. It also has a USB, uh, which uh, should power on and off with this. Stop sliding. All right, ready for the lift off. Nothing happened. Let's press it. There we go. It says it's off. It's red light is on. See? Uh, let's press it again. No, that means it's on, I think. It clicks. Okay, it clicks. <laughs> but you can control it through the app. Mm, I don't have anything to plug into it at the moment. I need to find something, guys. So I got a simple uh, light. So let's plug this in. Uh, if I press this, then light should come on from that side. Or not. Okay, never mind. Uh, it would be good to actually turn the light switch on. <laughs> right now it should come on. Let's see. Three, two, one. There we go. See? Yep, it does work. You can see the light clearly, see? So if it's um, off, then there is no light at all. And on, it means the red light is on. And USB should do the same. I'm going to test it if it turns the USB power on and off. Well, unfortunately, it doesn't turn the USB off. See, the light is off. And this is still on. That's just a USB hub. That's that's what I'm testing with. It still has power, you know. See, the light is on. Now the light is off, but the USB power is still on. And that's not some kind of a trickle charge. If I uh, disconnect it from here, see, it instantly goes off, instantly comes on. So, uh, unfortunately, it doesn't work for the USB, guys. So, it's only for the mains power. Maybe you can do it through the app, which I'm going to check out right now. Right, so I did a quick check, and it indeed uses the app called eWeelink, which is from the from the previous time. So I already have it installed. Uh, let's connect this one up. It's the same principle as uh, with the um, light switch. So we hold this button. I think I have to turn it on, and then hold it for about five seconds. All right, so you have to hold it while it's off. That's how you do it, and then it starts blinking. It's like uh, three blinks and then it stays on. Blink, blink, blink. And then we should be able to uh, pair it in here. Uh, let's add a device. You have to put your uh, network in here because it connects to your uh, router. And then through the router, you can control this from anywhere in the world. So this app requires also access to your like location and stuff. So you can basically you know, see where the devices are or something like this. I don't exactly know. It doesn't really give the options, but... Um. So then you uh, press next and then it should connect. So let's wait for it, I guess. It's connecting to the device. Well, something's happening. It says registering and we are going. Come on, come on. Actually, first thing you want to do is uh, connect to your Wi-Fi network first and make sure you're connected. And then you enter the password again, like on the screen I showed you. And then you press next. Then it's doing its thing. I don't know why it's taking so long. Let's just wait for it. All right, it is connected, so you can name the device. Uh, let's call it, um, uh, I don't know, <laughs> uh, socket uh, one, socket one. That's that's okay, complete. Okay, uh, there we go. Uh, it says it's offline. Uh, it said it's same with the lights, by the way, like uh, which I added before. So. Um, what I did in here is I disconnected this and then just reconnected it and it should come back online. Let's see. Uh, I have no uh, fix for this error. I simply waited off the camera and it just connected up. So uh, probably maybe bad signal. But if I press here, there you go. Lights on, lights off. And also these work. Now that's from the previous video. You can't see it because they're in the garage. But uh, See, this app controls all the devices. That's pretty cool. Unfortunately, it doesn't control the USB, which is a bit, bit of a shame. But um, yeah, check this out, guys. That is pretty cool. So that's how it works, guys. See, uh, the app thing is a bit, you know, um, like I said before, I don't really like the app. It's complicated. 
but then again it is like kind of you know a uh, multi feature uh, i don't have to be connected with this device to this network as long as this has internet this this socket thing it's connected at your home in your uh, router once you set it up through the app it connects to your router this thing and then with this device as long as you have internet anywhere in the world you are able to control your devices see that's that's the good side of this app so it's not independent on your home network there's also a different pairing mode i believe which is uh, directly connecting to it but i mean who's going to use that eh? <laughs> uh, direct connection should be uh, i'm going to tell you anyway because some people might want to know uh, yes indeed there is a second mode which is uh, described right in here so uh, what I did, I pressed the button uh, for five seconds. Well, it's not press, uh, I would say press and hold this button for five seconds. And then it starts flashing like it flashed before. It's like a blink, 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 blink. And then you hold it on for 10 more seconds until it starts blinking really fast, like blink, 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 blink. Then it means it's on a direct uh, bearing mode. In your device, you go into the wireless settings and then you connect to this device it uh, has some name in the manual somewhere so just uh, check it out but you will recognize it it says something anyway you connect to it from the wireless settings as you can see where the wireless is in here uh, you will see it in here no, not right now because it's not on but uh, you will connect to it directly and then you will go back to the app and you go through the exact steps i showed you at the device from here and then, uh, whoops, I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, I want to go back. <laughs> and then you can add it in here, which means in that case, your uh, device has to directly connect to this one, which means you have to be in the range, so no leaving home. So I highly recommend the method I showed you. It might show you, like, uh, you know, some issues with it, but just keep trying. Take your time. It will work. I spent about 15 minutes on it because... Uh, it just didn't want to connect. Maybe 10 minutes, okay, overreacting a little bit. But uh, basically, yeah, it works and it works really well. I'm absolutely liking this system. It's really good. You can have all your devices listed in here. So here you have this awesome Kessen uh, socket and I will see you next time.